welcome to another video of think filter in this video i am going to discuss in brief the process involved in zinc phosphating the first step in the zinc phosphate process is cleaning or degreasing of the component to be coated or during this step whatever oils or dirt or impurities are sticking or adhering to the uh, surface those are removed this is a very important step and manufacturers need to pay extra attention and generally i have seen that this is the most neglected step simply because this is it is a cleaning process but if neglected and if not done properly the quality issues emerge at the absolute end and then it is quite uh, expensive to repeat the entire process the main reason why the surface to be coated needs to be thoroughly clean is because if there is oil or if there is dirt on the component then the phosphate layer that is formed will be formed on that dirt which is not ideal because it is not structurally very strong generally why this cleaning process does not happen very effectively is because the degrease bath has a lot of floating tramp oil during the when the component is dipped inside this degrease bath if it has a lot of tramp oil instead of removing the oils from the component whatever tramp oil is there in the bath that gets added to the component hence continuously keeping the bath clean and removing the tramp oil is very essential during this stage the next step in the process is called water rinse it is a simple process it is a bath containing water at a particular temperature and the component that is clean or degreased that is dipped inside this water bath and uh, because of the hot temperature whatever residual chemicals are there during the cleaning process or residual dirt is there that is removed during this stage the third step is called activation during this step the surface activation chemicals activate the metal to obtain the crystalline structure during the phosphate coating this is the main step which causes the corrosion resistance and adhesion properties crystalline forms of less than 10 microns are normally preferred without this activation step one can observe large phosphate crystals that are formed now large crystals create voids in the zinc phosphate coating and when the voids the more the number of voids the more chances are there for corrosive chemicals to enter through those voids and then the phosphating process is ineffective the step after this is the actual zinc phosphating process so the chemical or the electrochemical reaction that precipitates the zinc phosphate layer on the metallic component happens during this step after this step the component is again washed or it is dipped inside a water rinse at a particular the water is at a particular temperature and the dipping time is also specific and this step is generally to remove any residual chemicals or the acidic bath that clings or adheres to the surface during the phosphating process so this was in short the entire zinc phosphating process i sincerely hope you learned something new about the zinc phosphating process today if you would like to know more about this process please mention it in the comments below and if you like videos like this please subscribe to our channel think filter thank you